guys, so today's little mini bites, we're just gonna give you a little bit of an intro to keeping your water tanks clean in your milling machine. Um, the water tank here in the MCXL, the primer, we have to open the drawer to get to it. But the main thing is that we keep those clean and I would personally suggest you get somebody on site, whether it's yourself or an auxiliary, a part of the team, to keep these clean and do it once a week. Create a log and make sure that you keep them clean once a week so that you keep all of that gunk that's been drilled out of those blocks from causing problems while you create uh, while you're milling out. If you have a regular cleaning protocol, it's gonna keep your machines working better and also keeping it clean. So as well as focusing on taking this out, you know, washing, unscrewing it, popping the right uh, dense tech in, following all the rules, personally, I would say add a little bit more dense tech. It's not cheap stuff, but it will keep your burrs lasting longer and it will make sure that you machine the motors wear better, in my opinion. I would say, you know, where people keep it lower sometimes, I would go on, on the higher end of adding the dense tech for the purposes of whatever block that you're using. Other than that, inside, definitely as part of the cleaning regime that you're gonna put in place for your staff, make sure that they keep the inside nice and clean as well. There's nothing worse than seeing an MCXL or a prime mill that's not been looked after well, that the inside's all white and crusty. You need to make sure you keep on top of it. And the last thing that you wanna do with keeping clean, I'd say maybe once a month or once every other month, is just pop out these water containers, looking at the inside, get some water to catch any drips. You wanna take out this filter and just underneath, we want to keep that drain from being unclogged and you can see it needs doing at the minute. It's got a lot of gunk that's built up. We've done a lot of smiles over the last few weeks. So we're ready to do that. And all we're going to do is just once this is out, we're just going to pop this up and down a little bit to just free it. Make sure that's cleaned really nicely around it so that it'll drain properly. What happens if you don't, especially if you're using a lot more things like PMMA, PMMA will block that up and then you will end up where the whole thing will flood. So make sure you keep on top of your water container, making sure the filters are staying nice and clean as well, but also keeping the inside of your machine working well so that everything drains well, everything lubricates well, your milling's gonna be more accurate, more predictable with less chipping, less uh, problems with burrs wearing out, damaging, that sort of thing. So yeah, ideally, Armin, you're out there, I know you're watching, that we had, if we had everything in the water, everything would be better. But for the case of these, we just need to make sure that things work as best as we can. So hope you enjoyed that little tutorial. Make sure you keep things well clean and enjoy using your M6 on Prime.